which you guys got another video on how to turn black and white photos into color photos for free by using an online website. Now this website is pretty cool and maybe you've got some old black and white photos of your grandparents or, or anything like that that you want to turn into color and you don't have Photoshop and you don't have the knowledge to be able to do it in one of those applications. You can use something like this website. I've got some black and white photos here which I'll show you exactly how it works. So I've uploaded the file and it's going to show me the original file and then it's going to give me a base uh, palette of this uh, photo here. And you'll see it will automatically add color. Now it's not going to be 100% accurate on every single photo you do, but it's pretty close. And all I can say is if you don't know how to do this with a black and white photo and you have an old, photo of one of your family members that is black and white you can put some life into it by using this website and adding color to it so let me show you here with another type of image so you get an idea of the different types of images will have different effects so we'll have a look at the eiffel tower here we've got it uploaded and you can see it's added some color to the actual image it can work out exactly what types of colors go where it's not 100% perfect on every single image I've tried, but it is pretty close. So let's go ahead and try another image. Now the skin tone of this gentleman is more darker, and I wanna see whether it can correctly color the darker skin as well as white skin. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see what happens. So it's going ahead and uh, processing the image, and we can see here, it's give us a pretty accurate a color tone of his skin, which is pretty awesome. So that is uh, that image there. Let me try another image here because I want to try a few different images to give you an idea of how accurate this can be. Now we can use other images like say this house, it's going to have some green hedge and some different uh, brick color buildings and things like that. And let's see whether it can deal with multiple different colors on an image. And that's what we're going to be testing here. And you can see it's done a pretty accurate job of picking out some of these uh, colors here in this old house, which I think is pretty amazing. So I'm going to try another one here, and we're going to upload this image here of this young lady. She has got two-tone hair here. She's got some sort of darker hair on the right and a different color hair on the left. Now it's going to process the image and try to find some hair colors to put in here and basically give us a color image. And you can see it's got a bit of blue and a bit of uh, sort of pink there and a bit of black on the right. So it's done a pretty cool job of that image and added some different color tones in. It's got the jewelry right and give her a skin tone of what it thinks it needs. So it's done a pretty good job in my personal opinion for an image that was black and white to start with. Now, of course, some images are gonna be more difficult to do than others. And these are images that might have a lot of color in them, like this dress that she's wearing that's going to have different colors. So let's see what it can do here and see whether it can actually get the color right here. And this is quite a dark image, so it might not be able to detect the colors right, but it's done a pretty good job. It's not perfect, but it's done a pretty good job. There could be a little bit more color uh, down the bottom here on the bottom of the actual head. Uh, dress that she's got on there but looks pretty good to me uh, for a black and white photo turned into color so let's try something with a super white background here and a dog uh, on the actual image here to see whether it can pick out the differences between the white background and the white on the dog and it's done a pretty good job as you can see there of giving a nice color tone to that dog of what it thinks it is which is brindle and obviously white so really nice color representation for that particular dog and there's some other things up the top you can change, like vivid nature and colorful memories and a bunch of other ones you can use here as well. So I just want to try this one here and we can see what this one turns out like. Now, this is going to be some sort of rustic door with a guitar uh, leaning up against it with some wooden on the floor. Let's see what it can actually do with this image. And as you can see there, it's done a pretty good job at, at putting in what it thinks the colors should be for that particular image which is a rustic background on the door and of course a guitar. It's concentrating on the guitar to make that image pop. Now I just want to try one more here and this is quite a complex image. I'm not expecting it to do 
an absolute fantastic job on something like this because of the amount of different colors that would need to be used for this particular type of image. But we'll give it a go and see what it comes up with. And it's done a pretty good job at depicting some of the colors on the uh, billboards and signs. And also, it's also done a good job at the cars and uh, people in the street. So a pretty good job for what it was, because this is not an easy image to uh, get right. And uh, it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good job. But you've got to remember, this is literally taking seconds to color a black and white image, especially a complex image like that. So I just want to try one more with uh, makeup on to see where it can depict makeup and put basically uh, makeup on the image here because obviously she's got lipstick on and eyeshadow and eyeliner and all this sort of stuff and it's done a pretty good job as you can see there it's put some uh, foundation on as well and I think you agree that it's done a pretty good job at colorizing these black and white photos so if you've got any black and white photos that you want to add color to and you don't have Photoshop or you don't have the knowledge or skill set to do it you can use this online website to actually color those black and white photos. I'll be interested to hear your opinions in the comments section. I'll be happy to read those. Let me know what you think. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.